Welcome to StarCast. I'm Dread being joined by Sapphire, and JT is joining us for this game also. Now, this is game two between As the Blue Protoss player versus Random Filthy, who's playing Red Zerg this game. And this is on Metalopolis, so I'm looking forward to the second match. Yeah, I'm always excited when Filthy gets Zerg, being a Zerg player. So, yeah, second game of the semi semifinals of the Trans Tasman here. As enduring all that crazy shenanigans from Filthy in that uh, first game survives here taking the first game, and Filthy is now one game behind in this best of five, so Filthy's really going to need to take this game away from Az somehow before Az starts to build massive momentum and uh, possibly carries carries this away if uh, he's not careful. So looking forward to it, an interesting match. I, I'm not sure whether or not Filthy will go again for a rush-orientated play or whether he will macro up. So far, Filthy's favoured towards aggression. I haven't seen him macro that hard but we are seeing this early probe come out so no he's cancelled it so he's was th possibly thinking about a super super fast hatch or a super fast scout maybe even a gas steal but his overlords picked no his overlords picked up the close positions here so that was probably a scouting drone going out to see if uh, find out where just exactly as was and that knowing filthy style of play could have affected his decisions on whether or not he was going to early rush because filthy comes up with these very creative rushes and very creative cheese just to throw the other player off, off balance and i'm sure as is just super con super concerned about what filthy's going to throw at him that's why we see this super fast scout coming out he wants to know exactly what's going on because this is filthy and filthy making a liar out of me, going for a hatchery before his spawning pool, which is, I like the play, but against Protoss, it can be very deadly, especially if Az throws down this second gateway. If Az decides to two-gate against this um, build here from Filthy, he, he may just be able to snipe that hatchery. We are seeing the first Zealot come out with the Chrono Boost, and he may save his Chrono Boost energy for an, another Zealot here. Be curious to see whether or not he queues up another Zealot immediately or two gates for later pressure. So he may be thinking to try and take this hatchery right away. We are seeing a pylon block at Filthy's ramp, which means that Filthy's not going to be able to reinforce this uh, gateway. I love this play. Forge as well. Filthy pulling off drones to try and stop this. I love this maneuver. We've been seeing this a little bit more lately, especially uh, with all the um, creative play coming out of Korea right now. So this means that <laughs> Filthy cannot reinforce his expansion. I'd expect a cancel here because this expansion is now completely cut off with this forward aggressive cannon. So as choosing not to throw down a second gate is actually going to cannon contain Filthy. Now, as a Zerg, this is a terrible, terrible situation. Because one cannon coming up behind uh, this wall in means that your Zerglings completely can't get out. And you've got to make a really, really tough decision about whether or not you go Roaches and try and snipe these pylons or Baneling bust it and just get yourself the hell out of there or go for a one base tech play. We are seeing Filthy throw up the Roach Warren so it doesn't look like he's going to go for the Baneling bust. Trying to work down this pylon as much as possible bef before the cannon comes online. So. But it looks like this cannon's going to come online. I don't think Filthy is going to be able to bring the, the <laughs> pylon down. So it looks like he is contained. This is a terrible situation for Zerg. You never want to be in this situation. So I'm not sure what Filthy's answer is going to be. This is great play by Az. Absolutely love it. I've, I don't think I've seen this before. This is very, you know, twice very inventive plays by Az. So um, I'm sure that is exactly the opposite of what Filthy wanted at the start there. Trying to be you know, very quick about his expansion. He's got the exact opposite of it. Now he's got to break out of this contain. So he is going roaches, but, um, you know, while, uh, uh, sorry, while Filthy is actually building up his forces now, JT, do you see anything um, worth noting about this map? No, not at the moment. It's just going to be critical in the next couple of minutes, you know. Filthy really has to do something to break this contain. Otherwise, it's going to be one expansion down on the Protoss, and that is definitely not a situation you want to be in as a Zerg player. We are seeing these roaches go to work on this pylon now, so he is breaking out here. He's just got one cannon to deal with. Zealot reinforcements coming in from Az, but I don't think they're going to get there in time. And no, Filthy does break out. But he is forced to one base roach here. So even though um, Az is a little bit behind in army and these roaches are going to come out and apply early pressure, these cannons should come online just in time in his expansion. So unless Filthy does a run by to try and uh, counter this, I imagine he's going to be just okay. He is pulling a few probes to his expansion to split mine off here, so I'm not sure, but there is a lot of roaches coming in, six roaches, nicely timed there, these two zealots going to work, but the zealots forced to retreat, 
the cannons trying to get away from these roaches, but I think three cannons coming online now, down to four roaches with one reinforcement coming uh, to the line here. He's trying to desperately get this pylon down. This is going to be a close run thing. I think the cannons are going to be just fine. Filthy realizing he can't bring it to bring it down, and another pylon coming online for Az. I really like this positioning too. He threw up, but he recognized that this push was coming, and he threw up this gateway, which meant that his ramp is a lot harder for Filthy to attack, and this second pylon just makes this really nice Protoss wall, and he can put Stalkers behind it, and he's got this cannon line, so I love this positioning from Az. Something Filthy could think about is a run behind, because he does have this side open, and it looks like he might even be thinking about trying that. He keys coming to this side. This side does come open right here on the right hand side, so he may be able to sneak past these cannons, which he looks like he is going to do, putting these probes at risk. No, he, he is after the extractor. I would have thought he would come up to this side and try and apply pressure to, yeah, and he is doing that, so he he is opening uh, as up for some harassment here. I'm not sure if he's going to go for a full run by into the base or try and work down. No, it looks like he was thinking about taking a shot at these cannons, giving up on that now and trying to do a sneak by. But I don't think uh, he's going to be able to get in the base with this probe blockade. But he just leaving these roaches here, especially with Az's current unit count, he's only got two stalkers, so he, he could have just left them there and tried to deny this expansion. But roaches don't out don't have the range of stalkers, so the stalkers able to go to work there and forcing Filthy to retreat. I like the play, how he snuck around the back, but I think he should have stayed there longer and just denied mining on that expansion for as long as possible, because he is one base roaching here. He is really, really far behind, and this... An issue wave of roaches isn't really doing much. This triple cannon defensive wall is... No, quad cannon defensive wall is just too much for these roaches right now. Yeah, Filthy really needs that expansion up. And he is getting it, just as I said, that up now. So um, he has a lot of catching up to do. Um, I mean, meanwhile, though, Filthy does have all these roaches on the field, though. So he is keeping um, as, you know, sort of contained. Although, as doesn't really need to push out. He's got his expansion up. He just needs to get more units out, which he is doing now so uh if void rays actually is the um the one as is going for so uh yeah i i mean you know, i like seeing void rays a lot because they are very very you know very very good if you can get a bunch of them together so um you know great play by as you know great choice because i don't think that filthy will have any idea this is coming so yeah uh what do you think of the choice uh jj well very smartly there he just took out uh filthy's overlord above his base when uh, Filthy saw the uh, the first Void Ray, and then immediately put down three more gateways. So uh, while Filthy might be expecting a lot of Void Ray harass, we're probably just going to see a sort of a more mainstream heavy gateway build while uh, Filthy tries to get up perhaps some air defenses, which he might not need so much of in the, in the coming minutes. Yeah, I like that timing on that Overlord sacrifice there from Filthy, getting that information he needed, forcing Az to reveal his hand with these Void Rays. I think Az might have liked to have hide that Stargate for a little longer, but now Filthy's got his